Would you like to hear the story of the little red hen? It's a very good story. One day, little red hen is out in the garden when suddenly she sees something on the ground. What's this? What's this? She says, a grain of wheat. Hmm, a grain of wheat. Mr. Duck, she calls. Mr. Duck, come here. I found a grain of wheat. I, I want to plant it. Do you want to help me? Do you want to help me plant it? No, says the duck. I, I don't I, I don't want to. I don't want to help you. I'm busy this morning. Little Red Hen calls somebody else. Lady Goose. Lady Goose. I, I found a grain of wheat and, and I'm going to plant it. Do you want to help me? Do you want to help me plant it? No, says the goose. I don't want to. I don't want to help you a bit. I, I, I'm busy this morning. Poor little red hen. Nobody wants to help her. Now little red hen goes to somebody else. Her friend, Sassy the cat. She says, uh, Sassy, I, I found a grain of wheat and I'm going to plant it. Do you, do you want to help me? Do you want to help me plant it? But Sassy the cat is reading. Can't you see I'm busy, he says. I'm reading the funnies and I, I can't go. I don't want to help you. So little red hen goes to somebody else. Her friend Pinky the pig. <laughs> Hi there, Pinky, she says. You know I found a grain of wheat this morning and I want to plant it. Do you want to help me? Do you want to help me plant it? But Pinky, Pinky just runs away. He says, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy today and I can't help you today. So Little Red Hen takes her shovel and she digs and she digs and she digs. She plants the seed. Later she watches it grow. Then one day Little Red Hen runs to her friend the duck. Look, look at the wheat, how tall it is, Mr. Duck. D do you want to help me cut it? It's ready to cut. No, 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 says the duck. I don't want to help. I don't want to help you cut it. Lady Goose doesn't want to help either. She says... I'm busy. I don't want to help. I don't want to help you cut it. Sassy the cat doesn't want to help. He says, I'm busy with this mouse. I, I don't want to help you cut it. Mr. Pig doesn't want to help. He says, I have to play in this grass right now, and I don't want to help you cut it. So Little Red Hen cuts the wheat herself and takes it to the mill. She says, this wheat will make good flour, very good flour. Now she's on her way back from the mill. Look, Mr. Duck, I'm going to make some bread. See the nice flour I have? Yes, I see it. Do you want to help me bake the bread? Bake the bread? No, I don't want to. I don't want to help you at all. Mrs. Goose doesn't want to help either. Sassy the cat doesn't want to help bake the bread. He says, I'm watching these fish and I can't help. Pinky the pig says, uh, I can't help you. I, I'm resting. See how I'm resting? So little red hen makes the bread herself and puts it in the oven. I'll bake it myself, she says. I'll bake it myself. Now the bread is cooked. It's ready to eat. Mmm, it smells good, she says. Just look at this good bread. Then the duck, the goose, smell the bread. I smell it, I smell it, says the duck. I do too, says the goose. The bread is ready to eat, let's go. Mmm, Pinky, just smell that bread, says Sassy the cat. It's ready to eat, let's go to the house of the little red hen. Knock, knock, little red hen. Knock, knock. We're here. We want some of that good. You can't have any of my bread, says Little Red Hen. You didn't help me. And she closes the door. They didn't help me plant the wheat, she says. They didn't help me cut it. They didn't help me take it to the mill. They didn't help me bake the bread. So I'm eating this bread myself. And that's the end of the story.